<clears throat> we are back. After a two month hiatus, we headed to the Maracana Stadium. Uh, not that one. This one. To watch some Liga 3 action. So we're back watching football, live football, Liga 3 football here in Georgia to watch Dinamo Tbilisi 2 versus Aragvi Dusheti. Actually, it's Aragvi Dusheti versus Dinamo Tbilisi 2. Just to clarify, home team. Sorry, pal. As the teams arrived, Luke had a quick check to ensure there was enough Seven, players to play a game. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, enough guys to make a team? Depends on the team, actually. <laughs> yeah. Players confirmed, we decided to go in search of a better viewpoint. And we spotted this area on the opposite side of the stadium. And after discussion with the stadium security, we were in. Well guys, as you can see, we've had success. We've climbed garages. Luca has negotiated with the stadium security using his charming Georgian language and slipped them five Larry each. No, I'm joking, but uh, yeah, we've got a great view from here. Really excited now. So what's your prediction for today, Luca? I'm going to go 2-1 two, to two, Dinamo 2. I am going to go a little bit more dominant to Dinamo to BDC 2. I'm going to go 3-0. And Sabafoy Dagiani with a header from a set piece. <laughs> Put me on the spot there, I hadn't thought about that. Now to give you some pre-match insight, Dinamo 2 currently sit top of Liga 3, having won 8 games in a row. Aragvi are currently 3rd, having lost just 2 games all season. This should be a cracker. Game started at a nice pace. I'd actually arguably the better team. We've had a free kick, a couple of other opportunities, but Dinamo do look dangerous on the attack. They do look ready to get numbers forward, so um, go on. During the excitement of the goal line clearance, Luca dropped his mints. He's gonna get stuck, he's gonna get stuck. No, 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 I wanna go. I can't get him. I can't get down there. We then witnessed three terrible refereeing decisions. Because that was not a foul. That looked like a corner. Yeah, there's corner, there's corner. And well, you judge this for yourself. Come on, never a foul ref. Santa Shade is going on. Something Aston. dodgy. Yeah, man. It's a questionable referee. It's questionable. Here, yeah. I mean, it's hot. He's trying, I think, but I don't know. But when the decision did finally go a rugby's way, this happened. So we just spoke about the battle between Morcholadze and Getzadze. Morcholadze had a free kick here, put it uh, low and wide of the near post. Getzadze gets one on the opposite side, much harder opportunity. Somehow sticks it away and that is 1-0 a rugby. Luca, thoughts? Well, some questionable defending because the ball bounced twice, I think, before he went to the goal. But, I mean, the goal's a goal. Getzadze scored and 1-0 for a rugby. Head it down. Morcholadze. Oh, oh. Oi. I think that was it ladies and gentlemen, I did say Sabahoy Dalioni to score from a corner and um, what well, you just seen, he hit the bar from a corner, might not get the same opportunity again. So half time, it is 1-0 still, it's been a very good half of football yeah. I thought Luca. I think Dino also deserved a goal in the first half but in general it's been a very open first half. I like it deservedly in, in the lead. It sets us up nicely for a second half. It is hot out here. That's something to say that might play a factor in the second half. Um, but yeah, let's get back to the action. Ooh. 66 minutes on the clock. Aragvi looking comfortable. I mean, Dino have had most of the ball, but um, the game's really being placed at Aragvi's pace and a um, couple of opportunities. Good save from Kutaladze in the Dinamo goal. I think Aragvi are very comfortable with the way the game is played out now. And Dinamo, although they're controlling the most of the ball, they aren't, they aren't really creating anything, actually. So, there's still plenty of time left, half an hour left. So. Dinamo went 2 0 up in the crossbar challenge. Same as all. Intense here, man. He's getting tense. Tense, yeah. How are they doing this? <laughs> They're not going to do it, probably. No, they need to take a shot on target at least. Oh. Into extra time, about one minute left of the game, we think, and the game management from Aragvi is just. Mwah. Honestly, 
taking the time with the ball when they need, drawing fouls when they need, getting throw-ins when they need, disrupting any kind of flow from Dinamo. And uh, got to think the game is. I don't want to say it. I don't want to say it, but I think the whistle's coming soon. And just like that, the game was done. Bro, man. A near perfect performance from our rugby. No, the quality isn't that big, but like executed the game plan pretty well. Took a deserved lead and kept the ball the way they wanted actually to play it. They played the game at their own pace and uh, one 0 This is simple football, but Dinamo should have played actually. But yeah, one 0 to our rugby. A good game to watch, an open game to watch, and um, on to the next one. So that's it, full time here and. 1-0 at rugby and it's a good, good game man, it was a good game to watch, it was exciting. You could tell the inexperience of Dinamo and the experience of Aragvi and that is a lot what this Liga 3 is about, it's exciting matchups going on. And now me and Luke are going to navigate these roofs again and try and get a fat hurting ourselves. Big up the security guys for allowing us onto these roofs to watch the game. It was the best position we could get for the camera. We didn't have press access. I'm not sure you can get press access for these games, but um, they're obviously part of Team Payola, and uh, we thank them a lot for that. As always, thank you for watching. We love you all. Love from this, Everett.